The legendary local sportscaster Bob Chase now has another honor to add to his already lengthy list. Today, Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry gave him the key to the fort. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson was there for the presentation, and you say Bob Chase had no idea about this before it happened. No, in fact, he was even joking about thinking he was in trouble or something because he was called to the mayor's office. But when Bob Chase found out what his honor was, he certainly was surprised. The key to the fort is a replica of the key used at the fort, circa 1790. The mayor's only only given it out two other times. Henry says Chase is so deserving because of his commitment and passion for Fort Wayne. He's announced for the Comets for 60 years and is often called the voice of the Comets. But more importantly, he made a special place for Fort Wayne and the hockey club in so many people's hearts. I liked it here. It was a great place to raise a family. And the things that I have been a part of here, I don't think ever could have happened in any other environment in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I'm so thankful to God for all of it. There are over 50 Comet, former Comet players that have made Fort Wayne their home, and I think a lot of that has to do with the continuity that a guy like Bob Chase brought to the Comet organization over the years. He means everything to the hockey club. It's a wonderful award for him. He's got so many awards, I don't know whether they can come up with any more or not, but that's beautiful, and they're all well deserved. Chase did get a little emotional a few times when he was talking about Fort Wayne and the Comets. He says he plans to put his new key on his mantle. Very appropriate. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alyssa.